What's up, everybody? Sam Smyers here. This is going to be a walkthrough of the Sam Smyers Serum Sound Design Academy. Now, I have just updated the course to include Serum 2. So now you have access to Serum 1 and Serum 2 course content. To access the course, go to learn.samsmyers.com slash users slash sign in, and then enter the email that you used to purchase the course. When you purchase the course, you will receive an email that gives you a link to set up your password. So then you just log in with the email that you used to purchase the course and then the password that you set up. When you log in, this will be your dashboard and this will have your courses displayed. In this dashboard, I have the Sansmire Serum Sound Design Academy as well as the Modern Mix Academy. So I have both of these courses. If you purchase both of these courses, then you'll see them in your dashboard. And when you sign up for the Sam Smyers Serum Sound Design Academy, you will get access to this community, which when you log in, it looks similar to a Facebook group. And this is where you can ask me questions or interact with other people who ask questions and post in here. Now let's go back to the dashboard and you will either see resume course or start course to access the course. And it will say resume course if you have started it. So I will hit resume course and it will open up the module where I can view all of the different lessons. Here are the chapters, Serum 2 Overview, Serum 2 Design Sounds, Serum 2 Deconstructing Popular Sounds, and then the same for Serum 1. If I open up the Serum 2 Overview, here's the introduction to Serum 2. I have videos going over all the oscillators, the warp modes, filters, envelopes, LFOs, the clip modules, the art module that is new in Serum 2 and all the rest of these that were the same in Serum 1. Serum 2 Design Sounds, let's click on this one that is Bass Plux. I go over how to create Bass Plux sounds as well as provide additional resources where you can find more information to create specific Bass Plux sounds, which you can just find on my YouTube channel. And I include additional resources for all of these videos in Designing Sounds. This last one, I do have a video on providing you preset examples. So I provide you 30 presets that I have made so you can follow along with this video. In deconstructing popular sounds, here's a video on research, deconstructing presets, choosing a wavetable, figuring out MIDI. Some of these do include the Ableton Live session file. This one for figuring out MIDI includes an Ableton Live session file. This one that goes over AI stem separation tools includes an Ableton Live session file. This one that is about using a spectrum analyzer includes a Ableton Live session file. And then this one called Brick by Brick also includes an Ableton Live session file. And this one is about how to start with a draft sound and then to build upon that to eventually get to the final sound that you are trying to recreate. Now, when I open up the Serum 1 overview, you can see a lot of these videos are similar to the Serum 2 overview videos. Serum 2 has more overview videos because there are additional features that have been added. You have videos on the oscillators, warp knobs, filters, and so on, then designing sounds. Similarly to the Serum 2 chapter about designing sounds, in this Serum 1 version, there is an additional video about arpeggios and transgates because you had to do this a lot differently in Serum 1, but in Serum 2, a new ARP module has been added, so you don't need to go through the process of using the LFOs to create arpeggios like you had to in Serum 1. And then deconstructing popular sounds, these are going to be all the same as Serum 2, but using Serum 1. When you click on a lesson, the video will automatically play. You can press play or pause it. You have an option to adjust the volume, you have options for adjusting the quality and the speed. So you could make it faster, go all the way up to 2x or make it go slower. You can put this in full screen and you can get rid of the sidebar by clicking this button up here. And if you do want to go back to the dashboard, then you click up there to go to dashboard. 